this guy in the parking lot is looking at me like a crazy person. <laughs> I could be on FaceTime, how does he know? Who cares? I didn't really see any improvement until just recently. Ah, <sighs> thank God. I hope it just keeps clearing, keeps clearing. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is when you're watching this. I am in Houston right now, about to run into Whole Foods, here for work. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that I'm going to be posting my journey on how I'm healing my acne, hormonal acne. So there's so much I could say about this. I've already known a lot about clearing skin and all of this stuff, but since I've had these breakouts for the past at least six months now, it's just gotten to the point where I've had to research more and actually apply it to my body and my life to clear this up. I don't know if you can, you can't really tell right now. I mean, you can see a little bit of these breakouts. I have a little powder on, so I have a tiny bit of makeup, but it's been so much better the past three days than it was the past six months because I incorporated a couple little things and I want to share those with you guys because I think it could be very helpful but there's a lot of other things that I do on a daily basis to help my skin so I mean those are just obvious things like eating a good diet I've eaten a vegan diet for 10 years but I was also starting to go a little more on the junk food vegan side and my skin started to show that and it didn't like it so sometimes these things that happen that make us feel bad are actually good in a way because they bring awareness to a situation and allow us to look at things in a deeper way. So if my skin was perfectly clear this whole time, I wouldn't be thinking like, hmm, something's off, what should I do? So the skin as the largest organ in the body shows a lot about what's going on inside the body. So that can be physical, emotional, energetic, a lot of things. And I think in my case, it's all of those, but I've actually surprisingly dropped chocolate. I've been eating these two salted almond butter cups by the brand Theo for the past maybe three years, pretty much every single day. I didn't see a negative effect um, from that. And I'm a nutritionist. I would never recommend people to eat chocolate like that every day. I would always have it after a green juice, usually. But when I didn't do that, I noticed it didn't feel as good. So keeping the body alkaline is so important, right? And chocolate is not alkaline, it's acidic. So if I were to have that, if I incorporate it back into my diet eventually after I do this initial cleansing phase, I will definitely have it after my green juice religiously because the first thing you put in your body, you don't want it to be acidic or a stimulant like coffee. Sometimes I have a half caffeinated almond or oat milk latte and I was getting a little relaxed about that too I would have that first and then have a green juice later not all the time but now it's like first thing that goes into my body is alkaline it's setting me up for a good day that's back to basics I did that for so many years and then I just got a little comfortable like I said I just feel like my body's out of alignment in the alkalinity realm <laughs> I was eating vegan donuts and stuff over the holidays and whatever else just things that are fine as far as they're not harming animals and there are so many other things that are worse but my system's pretty sensitive and it didn't like it so I mean maybe once in a while but right now my body's saying no and my skin is showing it I mean yeah you can see right there next time I'll show you guys a picture without any makeup on so you can see I mean it got bad that's why I got that LED mask and as a quick update I should make a separate video about this like I said I would but I was still experimenting with it and I actually brought it on this trip the LED mask has been great it's made my skin brighter and tighter and I like the way it looks but it's not completely killing the acne because there's a deeper root cause so it can only do so much in that department I still recommend it and I'm still using it daily but the acne is not being 100% cured by it so Again, diet, alkalinity, stress management is important, and there's an interesting energetic thing I've realized about masculine and feminine energies and balancing those out. So for the first five months, it was only breakouts on my right side of my face. That's the masculine side. That's the male side of the body. And I went through a breakup at that time with a relationship that was very toxic. And I'm very glad I'm out of that relationship. I'm so much healthier, never looked back, but I had to step it up and be really strong. And I've been boxing for, I'm almost 34 now. I've been boxing since I was like 16. Boxing, kickboxing, I practiced some jujitsu, 
just very strengthening masculine forms of exercise. And I love that. But, you know, I also do yoga for balance and flexibility and strength. That's the more feminine exercise that I do. But I've been really tapping into the masculine And I didn't even notice that. I was just tapping into my strength, which is great, but balancing out with the feminine is important too. So I wasn't having any breakouts on the left side of my face, all on the right. So I think it was just an imbalance there. It's been clearing up though. I started taking this supplement called L-Lysine and that has done wonders in about three days. I noticed a change. So there was a video that I saw by Organic Olivia and I'll link it down below. She's amazing. That video is probably the most informative I've ever seen on that topic. I haven't done my own research yet, but I'm not sure if a vegan diet is low in that amino acid L-lysine. So because I've been vegan so long, it could be that it's just a deficiency. So anyway, I started taking L-lysine and that I'm really digging right now. I'm definitely going to continue that. Also, zinc I've been taking, but I'm going to take a new form. I just ordered it on Amazon, so I'm waiting for it to come. One that's easily absorbable. I can link that product below too if you want to check it out, but definitely watch her video. Very informative. I started also taking this product called Genesis Gold, which I took years ago. My mentor and business partner, Gil Jacobs, recommended it to me. It's pricey. It's like $175 for a bottle of it. It's powder, so it's not cheap, but it has all of the amino acids, and L-lysine is one of them. And And I think I liked it back then, but I was healing adrenals, which I feel like my adrenals are in good shape now, which was huge for losing weight. I'll make another video about that. But all of those amino acids are important for balancing hormones. Genesis Gold, L-Lysine, both of those are helping. Zinc helps. And I'm tapping into my feminine energy a little bit more. I'm also not eating like oily foods like when I'm traveling like right now I'm at Whole Foods and a lot of times I'll just go to the salad bar and get some sweet potatoes or Brussels sprouts but they're cooked in crappy oil which is very disappointing Whole Foods what's up with that I know you're using non-gmo canola oil but why are you using canola oil that should not be part of the program so it's hard I mean on this trip I ended up steaming my own sweet potatoes and bringing them with me and yes it takes a little extra work but yes I'm also worth it so I'm going the extra mile to make sure I'm taking care of myself and my hand hurts from holding this. I think, ugh, cell phone radiation, the EMFs that are so unhealthy and it actually imbalances our hormones. We're just being radiated all day. I'm not into that. So holding this phone is actually hurting. So I'm going to go, but I'll keep you guys posted. If you have any questions, post them below. I want to share my journey so I can help you too if you're on a similar one. I just got back in from Whole Foods. It wasn't the greatest one option wise. I have been to this one. I think I was here a few months ago, but I did find a few green juices and these ones don't have sugar in them. So pretty much for almost 10 years or more, I've been juicing practically every day and I don't do a lot of apple or even carrot. I keep it pretty low sugar. I've always done that with juices because there's no fiber to slow down the digestion process and it goes pretty much straight into the bloodstream. I'm just sensitive to sugars, although, you know, I know it's kind of contradicting because I've been eating chocolate every day for years, but I don't think chocolate's bad. I really, really don't. It's been almost a week since I haven't and I feel fine. But anyway, I found some green juice, so that's cool. And I'm gonna have this before I have a light dinner. I might go back into my hotel room and show you guys what I have as far as what I'm gonna eat. I usually do them on my Instagram stories, so follow my Instagram stories if you want to see, because I travel at least half the month every month, and I show you guys what I bring to my hotel rooms and how I stay healthy on the road when I'm traveling so much. And I love you guys, and I just wanted to share with you that you can find healthy options anywhere. I know Whole Foods, you think you could get healthy stuff, but I looked at everything at the salad bar. Canola oil, canola oil more canola oil. Not cool. So I didn't get any of that stuff, but I got some other things. So I'll talk to you soon.